I consider myself pretty neutral when it comes to making videos about topics. On one hand, I have stuff that showcase the stuff I made to break a server's economy. And on the other hand, I have stuff that help YouTubers out. Uh, today is one of those second videos where I help YouTubers out. I made a special client called the Streamer Client, which is what we will be looking at today. Look, it has a cool little animation and stuff. These are all the features that it has, and I'll be going over them one by one on Skyblock right now. So let's go over there. Alright, so let's start with the first edition. Uh, the first one is Fake Nick. Yeah, Fake Nick. What Fake Nick is, does is that you write your actual Nick over to here. I don't actually have access to the Nick command, so this is my actual username over here. I'll be blurring it out for reasons. And then you write a Fake Nick that you want. So. How the thing does it is when it receives a message with that username at the below part, it just replaces it with the one at the top. And you'll always be MVP++. I might add the ability to change that, but if I if this gets enough like views or credit or whatever. Uh, the second one is Lobby Hider. This is a very, very, very useful one. Uh, so as you can see on the top right, I have very, my Lobby place would be I have stream client streamer client beta so if I were to say visit portal hub right oh, that's annoying uh, if I were to say I want to visit portal hub second island it says rather than my lobby it says lobby hidden my streamer client beta that's great then we have player hider which just hides players. If I go over to the hub, you'll see this way better. So there are no players around. Uh, I also have a secondary option for the player hider which is don't hide shops. Which if I open this you'll see that the shops are still here. While other players are not. This actually causes quite a lot of FPS drops. I want to fix this but it's really hard um, so I just close that it also allows you to show the NPCs then we have Fulbright which uh, quite a lot of people should know it just sets this brightness value to a value that you can't actually set it to and when you do this all of the shadows in the world disappear so when you're mining let's say on a dark place you would open this and the dark place would be gone then we have the best option for this, special chat. So what this allows you to do is connect your Minecraft chat to Discord or Twitch. So let's go over to here. Th these are the band words. I have a couple of band words that I want and I'll, I'll open bleeping words as, words as well. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to connect over to Discord. This is the server that you will be seeing at the down below on the video, by the way. Okay, so the one didn't work. Uh, the connected Discord thing didn't work. I just quickly fixed it, and now, now I'm back again. So when I open this Discord port key invalid, be right back. Am I just an idiot? Is that what's going wrong? Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. After that very brief moment of me being an idiot, let me showcase you the bot again. So, if I press connect to Discord, it should connect to Discord. There we go. And if I go over to my actual screen right now, go over to stream clients, and there it is. So it prints out this message to the channel when it gets it right so check if it's working like that so if I just write something like uh, let's just hello hey it works okay so there you go it writes my username and the message I sent if you change your nickname like let's say I am the owner 
have solo internet. How about with him? And it writes it with the nickname. It's a cool thing. I might add rolls, but gold would be a... Again, if this client get, gets enough, like, gets popular enough, I would add uh, bot. No. I will add roll support and stuff. Uh, the other one you can connect to is Twitch, and I'll just show you guys that as well. And there we go, it shows it in the chat. If I just write hello, it will write from Twitch hello. And to show that this is actually me, I'll just put spam stuff on the keyboard. And if you want, you can just check all of those. And another thing that you can do is add swear words. So these are banned words. Those characters sometimes appear. So if I say any of these in my Discord chats, it will shoot, not this one, the thing, the Twitch as well. But if I say any of those, it will bleep up, bleep, bleep up the words. Hey, uh, bunny. There is on this oh there's also the fake lobby option which is a very nice one so i'll just show this to you guys so if you look at the top right it might be hard to notice but i don't have a lobby right now it just doesn't show it for now but if i just God. okay so if i just go if i just go over to the hub it will send me to 150. Okay, there you go. Uh, it sometimes does this thing where it sends you the message twice. So both of these are fake random generated lobby names. I could be okay. So let me just show you this. It's always a mini lobby, whatever you do. So if I just go over to one of these hubs, which will always be a mega lobby, it shows you that it's on a different lobby and since I only clicked that one it shouldn't have changed twice and yeah that's it oh man I'm just admiring how good of a job I made while doing this time like look at this it looks so good if I just add this the lobbies came back oh my god it's so good